Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl, The Flash, and DC as a whole. Today we're going to be talking about a bunch of different things. We're going to be talking about the multiverse, but also we're going to be theorizing about something potentially coming later this week. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year, or DC EU videos, because this kind of involves the whole DC multiverse because things are kind of getting a shake up and potentially there's going to be more crossover obviously the last time we saw a big crossover with the DCEU and DC TV was when we had Crisis on Infinite Earths and the two flashes crossed over and so potentially we may get some more stuff like that in the near future so first off I want to talk about what's happening on the CW and what may be happening sometime later this week. So there's this event that is happening on the CW on January 10th, so this Sunday. What is happening is the Critics Choice Super Awards. So this is an event just celebrating uh, superhero films and superhero TV shows and stuff from the last year. And so this is a new awards show which is happening via the Critics Choice but it's happening on the CW so they're just going to air it on the TV and Kevin Smith is running it and if you guys didn't know I'm actually a member of the Critics Choice so I actually get to vote in who wins for this however that is besides the point because the whole point here is the whole point here is it's the CW they're airing it it's a superhero related thing and it's happening basically a week before our shows come back well at least Batwoman comes back and so kind of some rumors have been going around regarding this specific event because if you guys didn't know, what the CW sometimes does, they will air trailers and promos on their channel and they won't announce them or anything and they will just air it, right? So people have been theorizing that there's going to be some sort of drop like a promo or like a kind of joint promo for all of our shows with a little bit of footage like five seconds from each show or the other rumors were apparently because this is exactly pretty much a week before Batwoman airs for season 2, we should be getting some sort of extra trailer, you know, final trailer as we head towards the premiere date for Batwoman season 2, which is in fact the 17th, so it's actually the Sunday after. So it's bang on a week, it would seem right that they're probably going to drop a Batwoman trailer, like another one during this event. However, there's also the option we have been speculating recently that we're going to get like some sort of The Flash or Superman Lois trailer drop pretty soon. Sometime in the next maybe two weeks, I would presume. And we've given our reasons before. But it just seems like if you're going to drop a trailer on the CW at any point, you're going to have most superhero fans tuning in for this one specific event rather than like some random CW show that is airing reruns or something like that. So it would seem likely that they would try and target their specific superhero CW audience with this specific date. So that's the main reason why we're speculating something could happen. It's because it's related, it will have a similar audience, and I think they would like to promote their shows. Definitely Batwoman, which is coming out a week after this, and presumably maybe The Flash and Superman and Lois, which comes out just a bit after also, Bat Lightning is coming before Superman Lois and The Flash, so that has a high chance of something dropping as well. So, yeah, this is just speculation, but it does make sense. What do you guys think? Do you think we're going to see anything? We'll have to wait and see. Probably going to be some sort of promo if it's anything. Not like a really long trailer, just like a quick TV spot. But anyway, let's move on to the next thing. We're going to be talking about this New York Times article where there was an interview with Walter Hamada, the head of DC Films, and he did a recent interview with the New York Times. I'll leave the link to the article below, and I've picked out the most important stuff that I want to talk about in today's video, and the segments that I've took out are pinpointing the multiverse stuff to do with the DC Universe. Alright, so this is how it goes. The most expensive DC movies, up to four a year starting in 2022, are designed for release in theatres, Mr. Hamada said. Additional superhero films, two annually is the goal, focused on riskier characters like Batgirl and Static Shock. 
will arrive exclusively on HBO Max, the fledgling streaming service owned by Warner Media. In addition, DC Films, which is part of Warner Brothers, will work with filmmakers to develop their movie offshoots. TV series will run on HBO Max and interconnect with their big screen endeavors. With every movie, what we're looking at now, we're thinking, what's the max potential spin-off, Mr. Hamada says. So basically they're trying to chime in on their recent success and they're trying to basically live up to what Disney is doing because they just announced a whole bunch of new TV shows, a whole bunch of new spin-offs. And then it just so happens that this drops, this article drops where they're like, yeah, we're going to ignore our kind of one film by film basis and we're going to create a multiverse and do four films a year past 2022 and we're going to have two extra films on HBO Max. So it seems very ambitious and I'm all in for the idea of the multiverse. I think DC does that best. They do that better than Marvel. They do it better than anyone else. But they haven't done that in their films. They've done that in the TV shows, in the CW shows. And they've done it great, but it's not the same people controlling it. And it's not like, you know, these specific shows that have been running for years. It's going to be, you know, new films and they're going to try and connect them together. We'll see how it goes, but it does seem a bit risky. And I don't know why the HBO Max stuff... You know, like making a few extra films that are perhaps more risky would relate to Static Shock and Batgirl. They don't seem very risky to me, but yeah. Let's move on. So they say, to make all of the storylines work, DC Films will introduce the movie audiences to a comics concept known as the multiverse. Parallel worlds where different versions of the same character exist simultaneously. Coming up, for instance, Warner Bros. will have two different film sagas, including Batman played by two different styles running at the same time, television spin-offs from The Batman and Suicide Squad are heading to HBO Max. The traditional television division, aka The Arrowverse, has roughly 25 additional live action and animated superhero shows, so that's The Arrowverse and the other shows like Titans and stuff like that. Also includes the new show Superman and Lois, which drops on The CW in February. And so the answer is the multiverse. Boiled down, it means some of the characters will continue their adventures on Earth 1, while new incarnations, Robert Pattinson as Batman, they gave us an example, will populate Earth 2. So basically, Earth 2 stories are going to be household stories. Earth 1 is going to be the normal DCEU continuity, so that's the normal films currently right now. So like Wonder Woman, Batman and you have like Man of Steel and stuff like that. And then also you have The Flash, which is the new film that is coming out in a few years, hopefully. Obviously it's been stuck in development hell for a long time, but that film is set to release in cinemas in 2022. And apparently this is gonna link the two universes together and feature two Batmans with Mr. Affleck returning as one and Mr. Keaton returning as the other. And he's gonna be returning as Batman obviously because he played Batman in 1989 and so yeah apparently the Flash film is going to be the bridge between their multiverse they're doing the Earth 1 stuff which is normal stuff and then they're doing the alternate Earth 2 which I'm presuming Michael Keaton's Batman's from as well as Robert Pattinson's Batman as well because you know the normal Batman is Ben Affleck so basically linking this into DCTV and what we mainly talk about the whole idea of the multiverse is something that we've tackled for a long time. Obviously, Crisis was like the big kind of precipice of all of this, like the big end goal. And, you know, they've always explored the multiverse, especially on The Flash. And so it's kind of fitting that the Flash film is going to be the one to link the two multiverses together. Not so sure how I think about including Robert Pattinson's Batman because it feels completely different. And I've been liking the separation. Like, I like the fact that Joker's separate, the fact that Wonder Woman's separate, Shazam, Aquaman, they aren't really linked, even though some of them are in the same world. I just kind of like that, but that's just me, and maybe, you know, they're going to do a really good job. I don't doubt that. I think they've got this all pretty much planned out. However, yeah, it's interesting. Maybe we're going to get some sort of spin-off 
from the Flash film and maybe you might get like a Kid Flash film or potentially, you know, because we have already linked to the TV shows, we may get some crossover with some of our CW Arrowverse characters with, you know, the DC Universe as a whole, like the films on HBO Max, whether it's those two a year or it's the four a year in the theatres, like in the cinemas. And, you know, with the Flash film, maybe you get to see cameos from, like, Grant Gustin and people from our shows. So, what do you guys think about all of this? It's obviously a big change in the DC Universe. Are you excited and who would you like to see crossover? And do you think the Flash TV show and some of the other Arrowverse characters are going to cross over into all of this craziness happening with DC on HBO Max and in the cinemas? Because they're trying to link it all in and bring it all together. So thank you guys so much for watching, also remember potentially look out if you guys have the CW, watch it on Sunday and maybe you might get to see some sort of promo or trailer for the new shows, so be on the lookout for that, but for the meantime thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys later, goodbye. I see red.